John Gower's Confessio Amandis exists in three different versions. The first edition, published in 1390, is considered the most important for study. This version has over 33,000 lines and tells 141 stories in rhyming couplets. The stories mainly focus on the seven deadly sins and told through a framework where a lover named Amans confesses to Genius, a priest of Venus. While often compared to Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, many critics think Gower's work is a greater poetic achievement. Amans is the main character of the poem. He is also known as the lover. Amans is in despair because he is suffering from unrequited love. He seeks help from Cupid and Venus to free himself from this feeling. Cupid, who is responsible for creating love and making matches, wants to help Amans heal and find true love. Venus, the goddess of desire, beauty and prosperity also wants to help Amans. She realizes that the only way for him to heal is bringing him to Genius who can help him confess his sins. Genius is a chaplain who helps Amans overcome his obsession with love. He guides Amans through confessing the seven deadly sins he has committed and uses these confessions to teach him about the true nature of love. In the prologue of Confessio Amandus, John Gower critiques the moral decay he perceives in his contemporary society, focusing on the failures of the government, the church and the people. He recounts the biblical story of Nebuchadnezzar's dream of a statue made of iron and clay, using it as a metaphor for society's corruption. Gover argues that society's good elements are being tainted by evil due to a lack of confession and accountability. The narrative begins in book 1 with Amans the lover wandering alone in a, in a forest tormented by unrequited love. Seeking help from Venus and Cupid, Amans finds himself scoffed at when they demand an explanation for his despair. Venus instructs him to confess his sins to attain peace and leaves him in the care of Genius, a priestly figure who guides him through the process of confession. Genius methodically leads a man through the seven deadly sins, pride, envy, wrath, sloth, avarice, gluttony and lechery. Each sin is illustrated with stories drawn from sources such as the Bible, Ovid's Metamorphoses and other ancient texts aiming to teach Amans the consequences of his actions and the virtues he should aspire to. Gover uses these tales to provide moral lessons and to critique the failings he sees in his society. After confessing six sins, Amans exhausted asks for a respite. Genius then discusses the qualities of good leadership. which serves as Gower's critique of King Richard II, whom he views as an unfit ruler. This interlude highlights the importance of wisdom and virtue in governance. The final sin, lechery, is confessed, and Amans receives a lengthy lecture from Genius, who narrates the story of Apollonius of Tyre. The final sin, lechery, is confessed and Amans receives a lengthy lecture from Genius, who narrates the story of Apollonius of Tyre. This tale emphasizes the themes of redemption and the transformative power of confession. In the conclusion, Venus returns and absolves Amans of his unhealthy love, symbolizing his moral and spiritual restoration. Through this journey, Gower underscores the necessity of recognizing and confessing one's sins to achieve personal and societal redemption. Confessio Amandus serves as both a moral guide and a social critique, advocating for honesty, accountability and virtual leadership. John Gower uses Confessio Amandus to criticize the moral failures of his society. He does this by referring to well-known ancient texts about ethics, such as the Bible. In the story, he voices these criticisms through the character of genius.
Venus assigns genius to listen to the full confession of Amans, the main character. Genius guides Amans through the seven deadly sins, asking for an account of each one in his life. Genius acts as a judge with authority given by Venus to evaluate Amans's failures and teach him better behavior through various ethical stories. At the start of the book, Amans is a pitiful character, wandering in the forest and cursing his life. Desperate, he calls out to Cupid and Venus to free him from his unrequited love. He wants to be loved or to stop feeling the pain of loving but is not willing to take the necessary steps to achieve this. Venus arrives and quickly tells Amans that he has failed. She is not there to listen to his complaints, but taking pity on him, tells him to confess all his sins to genius for a cure. She wants to show him that finding peace requires taking responsibility for his failures. Why is he more focused on being loved than on loving others? His failure is a lack of responsibility. Instead of leaving Amans with a list of sins to think about, genius takes every chance to educate him. He tells him story after story about people who recognize their failures and learn to behave morally. Genius teaches Amans the virtues that can replace his vices. Simply confessing sins would not help Amans. Recognizing a fault does not fix it. A confession opens a space in the soul needing fulfillment. Without guidance, Amans would likely return to his sinful ways. Genius offers an alternative path, but Amans must choose virtues and make sacrifices to have them. He shows his willingness by sitting through the entire confession. In the end, he is rewarded for his humility and relieved of his infatuation.